Warning, this video contains a spoiler. Hey guys, it's Victor, give me a break man, give me a flake man, coming at you from Japan, dressed like a fool for your entertainment. Yes, I hope you appreciate that. Thumbs up for this outfit. Uh, I just came back from the 6, 10 p.m. showing at uh, the 109 Theater in Nagoya, near Nagoya Station. Sasashima, I believe, is the actual name. Uh, they have a university right next to the movie theater, by the way, which is weird, I never knew that. And we, we saw the IMAX 3D showing. It cost 2,600 yen each, which is about $24 uh, per person. The theater was fairly empty. It had maybe, maybe 30 people. You know, it was pretty empty. Uh, the As we exited the theater, there was a bunch of people waiting for the next uh, showing. So it looks like the, the what was it? I guess the 9 p.m. showing uh, was pretty crowded. A lot of foreigners uh, coming to see it. A lot of, no one was dressed up like a fool except for me. No, I didn't. I didn't dress this there. My wife would refuse to go with me if I if I, if I dressed this way. I I was thinking about it, but you know I haven't been as you guys know who follow the channel. I've had a we've had a baby, uh, so it's hard for us to get out of the house. But we did get uh, a sitter. Her her parents agreed to come over and and take care of the kid, so we could have a date, which is you know it's important. And we had a really really nice time. Uh, my wife came up to me after uh, as I started to. To prepare this and she said you know i feel like uh that was good for us to go out and have some fun so so we had a nice date night you know regardless of whether the movie was good or not it's going to be a subjective suggest subjective excuse me subjective opinion you know i haven't started drinking yet um but uh i will tell you what i think and i'm going to do this video a little bit like uh, memento you know where it's all kind of backwards so when I'm done talking, I'll show you some clips of, of things that, that were shot earlier in the evening, including a long ass clip from uh, Periscope that we shot on the way there. You know, but just for fun, it's really shitty quality. But you know, the, the beauty of this is uh, the GH4 camera, so it's nice quality. Anyway, anyway, when we got there, just a little information about the Japanese system. They gave us this. They gave us this, right? Little, just a little folder to keep your papers in. And on the back, you get the Suicide Squad, which I'm also very much looking for. Uh, they also had posters all over the theater of the the new um, uh, Captain America. It's hard to see with this <laughs> Captain America movie coming out soon. I think it comes out April 29th, so that's cool. Revenant has to come here. I also picked up a couple of these little uh, posters, which I have got to figure out how to not posters, but little you know, little advertisements of Superman paraphernalia and stuff. Kind of cute. Kind of cute. There's that one. There's other movies coming to Japan. End of Kingdom. Of course, I'm so looking for this. Hasn't come to Japan yet. Deadpool. Uh, the new X-Men movie. And I don't know what this is. This is something. What is this? Haturufu. Heartful. Ipaitena. Ipaitena. I don't know what that is. Oh, anyway. So. New movies coming to Japan soon. Now, on to the movie, the most important part, of course. Uh, we had a good time. It was good. A lot of the criticism out there that you've seen is probably that the the plot sucks, that Zack, Zack Schneider sucks. A lot of the reviewers seem to be uh, condemning him on his past movies. I've even see, I've seen uh, one review say, well, you know, Watchmen was so-so, and so was Man of Steel. But those, those uh, two movies do very well on IMDb's. They're both 7.2, 7.7 or something. And of course he directed, and I liked, I liked, I, I enjoyed both those movies as well. And of course he directed 300. So if you're going to convict a guy on the past, you should at least give him credit as well. He's, he's a good director. And you can also tell that he's, uh, he's good, uh, good enough because he's behind the next movies, Aquaman, The Flash, Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad. Um, yeah, all these coming up, coming out soon. So obviously the the uh, Warner Brothers, you know, believes in him. Uh, anyway, was it a good movie? You know what? A lot of people said it was too long. I I felt like time just flew by. I had I had a I had a really good time. It was very dramatic. It was it had a lot of uh, gravitas, as they say, and it really uh, for me echoed the 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 tone of the Frank Miller comic books. Uh, Dark Knight, the Dark Knight comic books, which I really, really, really enjoyed years and years ago when I read them. Um, and I, and I, I credit Frank Miller for, for kind of reviving the interest in these uh, dorky characters. <laughs> you know, cause, you know the, 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 he, made, he makes... Superman's always been boring, right? No, Superman can't be hurt. But when you see, see him through the eyes of Frank Miller and, uh, and the way Batman takes him on, yeah. Uh, and, and, the, and the actual uh, 
Batman outfit and armor that he's wearing is reminiscent of the the Frank Miller stuff. Anyway, I really enjoyed that. And but I I gotta wonder. I gotta tell you, I honestly don't know if other people would feel the same if they didn't know the Frank Miller comic books or they weren't into that. Now I'm a Marvel guy. Actually, I'm a I'm a big you know Wolverine kind of guy. And my dog chewed the hell out of that. So uh, rest in peace, Maggie. Anyway. Um, so I, I, I gotta say that if you, if you're not exposed to the DC world, if you don't know who the hell Batman and Superman are, then this movie might be a little bit convoluted and a little, a little bit, uh, lacking, uh, especially when they introduce, uh, Wonder Woman, right? And a few other characters, which I'm, well, I guess, you know, if you've read, I've, you've read and spoilers already, you know, you know, you know that Aqu Aquaman is going to make us a, a small appearance in the flash. And they and they refer to the the Justice League and in Japan it's actually called Birth of Justice League so it's pretty obvious what it's about. It's called Batman versus Superman. What's it called here? See, it says Batman Superman just Justice no Tanjo. Tanjo means birthday. So birthday of justice, which obviously refers to Justice League. But Japanese don't know what the hell justice means because they don't say that. They say Segi. So. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, as far as, uh, anyway, anyway, I guess they, they make you look it up. So, I, you know, my wife was confused. Like, why is, who the hell's Wonder Woman? And why is she there? And why does she disappear for a hundred years? You know, and, and things like that. So there are all these plot holes, I guess, for people who don't know the story. But if you know the story, you know, it kind of, it all kind of makes sense. And, and it was a lot of fun. I did think that for a long ass, uh, you yeah, know, another criticism, of course, that it was two and a half hours. That's way too long. Personally, I like I said, it, it just it flew by. I had a, I had a fun time, um, but uh, it yeah it was a little bit heavy handed a little bit sometimes. But you know what the hell you know you just you're you're you want to see some action and you want to see some fighting and that was that was pretty fun. <laughs> I had a really good time with that. Uh, I did think that it, it lacked. This is this is weird. It was two and a half hours, but I felt like I didn't really get why Jesse Eisenberg's um, Lex Luthor was um, pissed off, you know, what's his problem? What's his beef with the world, you know? Is he, is he not getting laid? I don't, I don't know. Uh, you would think a guy that rich would have a woman on the side, or a guy, or whatever, you know, have some love or something, He'd be do some, doing something else. And it doesn't really explain, like, how he gets access to the body of, uh, of Colonel Zod. Or is it Colonel Zod? General, sorry, General. I, I demoted him. General Zod uh, from the first movie. It doesn't explain any of that. It just, it's just like... Here he is, you know, here's a piece of candy, and here I gave you a piece of candy, so give me General Zod's body. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So there's a lot of that, but, you know, yeah, I overlooked that. Personally, I, I would have preferred someone uh, else to play uh, uh, Lex Luthor, someone with a little more, um, a little more, a little, a bigger body, Jesus. I mean, this, Jesse's just so skinny and scrawny, he looks like a, he looks like a kid, you know, and at, and at the end, <laughs> when they throw him in jail, of course, you know, he's going to throw, he's going to throw him in jail, he's going to die, right? Um, there's a scene where, where the, it's also an, inex, an uh, inexplicable scene where Batman appears at the, at the end. And it's, you almost think it's going to be like a, uh, an Oz, like the, like the, like the prison drama <laughs> type of scene at the end where you're like, oh no, Batman, don't, don't go there. I know you're dark, but don't go that dark. No, don't keep it, you know, keep this rated R. Uh, was it rated R? I don't remember. I think, I think this one was actually rated R, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Looking for this. Uh, oh, he's a director. Oh, is he, is he is a director, isn't he? Okay, there he is. So, um, but I had a good time. So, what can I tell you? You know, um, uh, it's a very subjective question whether it was good. As you can see on Rotten Tomatoes, the the, the real critics are butchering it. It's got a thirty percent. It's just not doing very well well at all. Uh, and it's rated. Does it say the rating here? PG-13. All right, PG-13. Okay. Oh, I'm thinking of Deadpool. Deadpool's rated R, right? Okay, cool. Anyway, um, I had fun. It's got some plot holes, but, you know, in all, it was it was an event for me. Uh, I was really looking forward to going to it, and I did. Um, in Japan, I think it's not, not a big deal. You know, people are just not that interested in, in Batman and Superman here. Spider-Man did a lot better. I went to go see Spider-Man uh, with a couple of the YouTubers, as you guys might remember, a while ago. Uh, um Yes, Shane and Regan, and I think my, yeah, my wife went. We met some people dressed up as Spider-Man there, some Japanese dressed up. So they actually have Spider-Man. Um, I think there's actually a Japanese Spider-Man as well. So it's something that's more 
a slightly more part of the culture here. Superman and Batman, not so much. And of course, when it comes to Wonder Woman and Aquaman and Flash, they have no idea. Although, thanks to Netflix and Hulu, those characters are becoming part of the Japanese, uh, you know, part of, part of their fiction as well. So, well, we'll see what happens in the future. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for you now. The rest of the, the movie is just, uh, the rest of the video, <laughs> rest of this epic, Zach, not directed by Zack Schneider uh, video, is uh, just the events that led to this evening. Anyway, I had a good time. Um, I'd say go see it, you know, see for yourself or wait for it to come out on DVD. But it's a, it's a fun, it's a fun little ride. Uh, if you can just suspend your, your disbelief just a little bit more than usual, <laughs> I think you'll have a good time. Anyway, my name is Victor. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, in case you ever see me again, this is what I really look like. <laughs> you guys have a great night. I'm going to bed. I got to work in the, in the morning. See ya. Operator.